Hey friends! Today, we're diving into the captivating and somewhat mysterious journey of Juan Ibarra, a name synonymous with gold mining brilliance. From his unforgettable days on Gold Rush to his current ventures, Juan's story is one for the books. So grab your popcorn and get ready for a thrilling tale of determination, expertise, and a bit of mystery. Picture this, a man travels over 3,000 miles from Nevada, leaving behind his secure plumbing job to chase the glittering promise of gold in the Klondike. Sounds like a movie plot, right? Well, that's the real-life adventure of Juan Ibarra. Born in Reno, Nevada, on April 2, 1983, Juan came from a family of plumbers. But something extraordinary was about to happen to this everyday hero. Juan's life took a dramatic turn when he landed a spot on the iconic show, Gold Rush. Joining the Hoffman crew, he showcased his mechanical wizardry, fixing anything and everything with a precision that left viewers in awe. Imagine turning your plumbing skills into a gold mining strategy that not only works but brings in over $3 million in gold across three seasons. That's right, Juan helped the Hoffman strike it rich, proving that he's not just any mechanic, he's a gold mining genius. After his success with the Hoffmans, Juan's talents caught the eye of another mining powerhouse, Tony Beats. Joining the Beats crew, Juan continued to shine, his every move followed eagerly by fans who couldn't get enough of his expertise. The man was a fixture on Discovery Channel, turning gold mining into primetime entertainment. Move over Kardashians, Juan Ibarra was the new reality star in town. But just as fans were getting used to their weekly dose of Juan's brilliance, something unexpected happened. Juan was missing in action from season 11, and the airwaves were filled with questions. Why would someone so talented just disappear from the show? Rumors swirled, and speculation was rife. Did he say something controversial on social media? Was there a behind-the-scenes disagreement? The truth remained elusive, and fans were left devastated, yearning for their Juan fix. Let's rewind a bit and delve into Juan's background. Married to Andrea Ibarra and a proud father of two, Addison Marie and Juanito Ibarra, Juan's life seemed picture-perfect. His journey into gold mining was sparked by his brother-in-law, who encouraged him to apply for Gold Rush. And thank goodness he did. From maintaining heavy machinery to managing the crucial washing plant, Juan's role was indispensable. The producers knew his worth and paid him handsomely for his contributions. But what happens when the cameras stop rolling? For Juan, life took a new and exciting direction. He founded Ibarra Industries back in 2004 and continues to run his own business in Nevada. Who needs the hustle and bustle of a reality show when you can be the boss of your own empire? And let's not forget, his skills and business acumen are so impressive that he's estimated to rake in up to $100,000 per year, with a net worth of around $7 million in 2024. That's right, Juan is still striking gold, even off-screen. Juan Ibarra's story is a testament to the power of skill, passion, and seizing opportunities. While we may never know the full story behind his departure from Gold Rush, one thing is certain. Juan is living his best life, thriving in his business, and enjoying the love of his family. He used the platform of the show as a stepping stone, a launch pad to even greater heights. So, what's next for Juan Ibarra? Only time will tell, but one thing's for sure. We can't wait to see what this gold mining maestro does next. Whether he's fixing machinery, running his business, or just spending quality time with his loved ones, Juan embodies the spirit of adventure and success. If you've enjoyed this deep dive into Juan Ibarra's life and career, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more fascinating stories. Stay tuned for more updates on your favorite Gold Rush stars and much more. Until next time, keep chasing your dreams, just like Juan.